Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your third week of May general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a person reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. Before I get started, I want to let you guys know we have a full moon, May 23rd. That is a Thursday. If you are new to the channel, I always do collective readings every single Wednesday. We will also have a collective uh, full moon reading that Thursday um, for that full moon. So make sure you tune in for that as well. Also, I want to let you guys know if you would like to have a discount full moon reading sale, please leave. You would like to have a sale in a discount uh, in a discount reading <laughs> in the description <laughs> in the comment section below. I'm thinking business right now. So leave it in the comment section below. Just let me know, like, yes, I would like to have a full moon discount reading sale. And then, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll make that available for you guys because your wish is my command. And I will make sure I leave it on a community section here on YouTube as well as in the um on my ig page if you don't have my ig information it's in the description box below so again make sure you let me know and then you will have a discount reading sale available for you from um 8 a.m to midnight on may 23rd again that's this coming thursday okay so scorpio summon rise of venus individuals when i was meditating over you guys energy the song that i got and i know i'm gonna say it wrong i hope not but if i do you guys know what i'm talking about the song that I heard was Cherishes La Ghost by Ghostface Killer and You God. Ghostface Killer happens to be a Taurus. We are still on Taurus season as I'm doing this reading. And You God happens to be a Scorpio. So the main thing that stood out for me is the ghost part. I'm hearing ghosts over and over again. Okay. Of course, the name of the song is um, Cherishes La Ghost. Okay, you got ghosts right there. And then the artist's name is Ghostface Killer. So, of course, it's our mind to him, right? But I feel like, hey, somebody could be going ghost on someone. And that's not what the song is about. I'm just telling you that's the song that I heard. Somebody could be ghosting someone because the part that keeps standing out to me over and over again is in the hook of the song. She said, I'm tired of roaches and I'm tired of rats. In other words, like I'm tired of living in a, in a nasty situation. It doesn't have to be that you're literally living in nastiness. It's just like the energy of that connection, the energy of the association could just feel nasty and heavy and like a rodent, rodentous energy. You know what I mean? Or I'm now hearing eroded. Like if something erodes, it's like. It's in a bad condition. So it could be a situation where someone is dating someone or you have a very toxic situation or something to that nature. It's just like, I'm tired of it. Because that's what she says. I'm tired of roaches and I'm tired of rats. Like, I'm tired of that. You want something new. And that's why I feel like someone's ghosting someone just up out the blue. Somebody's going to have an aha moment like, I'm gone. I'm done with it. Because, you know, what I'm also noticing, one of the artists' name is you, God. I feel like some of you guys are coming closer to enlightenment. And you realize, like, this does not align with me. I've got to get up out of this jam, okay? So let's see what we get for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major. Oh, I want to talk about this first. Because <laughs> I didn't put this like this. I kid you guys not. Because at first, when I heard the song, I was like, what does this have to do with the message that I meant to share? And I, I promise you, I did not put this this way. At the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus. I did mention that Ghostface Killer is a Taurus. Then you have the Queen of Cups, Cancer by Scorpio. You God is a Scorpio. Her back is facing him. I, that's somebody like, I'm done with this. I'm moving on. So that, that made a lot of sense to me. And I was like, okay, I get it. I'm just going to listen to it as it is. I tell you guys all the time, I don't question the universe as far as what I'm supposed to deliver. I just want to always ask about clarity. Like, okay, how does this resonate? And when I see those cards at the bottom, I'm like, okay, gotcha. Let's, let's get it, okay? So... Currently, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Swords. I Spy Lurker, somebody keeping tabs. Also, Swords, communication, and mental. So, I feel like somebody's going to be communicating something to someone. Um, I, I just also feel like someone may be talking to someone, like friends, because those two birds like messengers and communication. Birds are strongly associated with communication. I feel like someone is talking to someone other than their actual companion or partner about their dishappiness, not dishappiness, their unhappiness, and I meant to say disdain about a situation, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys. I'm going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarified for Scorpio. Some will rise in Venus individuals. Yeah, talking to friends about something, yeah. And that's, you know, your element also. So that's what I'm getting. Somebody is, like, not telling someone that they're making plans to move on. Because if you notice in the background that there's the um, pyramids are there, she's driving away from the pyramids. The pyramids could be your home, 
your workplace. She's not driving towards, she's driving away. So somebody's making plans to get up out that jam. And that's what I keep getting. So somebody's like, I'm too royal. I'm too noble for this. I want a better life. I'm not going to live in the swallows of life. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I want to evolve. And I am evolving. That's what I'm getting. So again, we want the death card. The card yeah, there you go again. See, I told you, I'm not making this up. Right up under, you had the king of pentacles initially, and now you have the queen. That's what I'm saying. Taurus again. This could have definitely happened in Taurus season. Somebody's like, I'm done with this. I'm moving on. I deserve so much better. So again, the death card, the card that comes before, the card that comes after. For Scorpio, Sun, Rise, and Venus, I stopped because I thought I'd seen your card. So right in front of you all, you have a nine of pentacles, single woman, single man. That's what I'm saying. Somebody has cut someone off and they're like, let me move on. But I definitely feel like uh, talking to a trusted and true friend about this process or getting some type of engagement about how you should go about it. You are this person. You have your major arcana and then you have a justice card, Libra. Um, also, somebody just like, I want balance. And I want you to also know that you see how she's dressed and dipped in gold, okay? Somebody's like, I deserve so much more. And then I say, I can't make this up, y'all. This could be happening in, in Gemini season, which, like I said, we're literally a day or two away from Gemini season. Look at this. You got Gemini with the lovers. She's here physically and he's not. He's what? A ghost. I can't make this up. You guys will watch me shuffle. I don't memorize placements of cards. And even when I shuffle, I hold it down so I don't see the cards until you do. So I'm telling you, somebody's thinking about ghosting somebody for sure. Hmm. That's what I'm getting. Bottom of the deck, you have the king of cups. <laughs> this is insane. Remember, we had the king of pentacles before, and then on this shuffle, we had the queen of pentacles. Before, we had the queen of cups, now you had a king of cups. If you notice behind him, there's a ship, relationship behind him. And then from behind you, it's a pass, okay? So it's like somebody is moving on. Or they're making plans to move on and may not be telling someone, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, either you or someone else, and they're only talking to one trust, one or two trusted people. Hmm. Let's see, this, this is very interesting. <clears throat> you know what I got with this also? Because <coughs> you guys know I always write notes. What I got with this is that a person from your past may be having, um, maybe haunting your thoughts. And that makes a lot of sense, too, with the ghost reference. Some of you guys, there, there is somebody hunting your thoughts. And some of you all could be hunted with your thoughts of leaving a situation because it could be fearful because of financial reasons, because you do got pinnacles here. You know, and then also, like I said, she's dressed in gold. So you may have been staying in the situation because financially it was um, stable, but everything else was possibly chaotic around it, around that situation. Yeah, something with money, okay? Because it's like that pinnacles hold value in reverse like somebody losing some type of um, financial stability. And that may be why someone stays, but somebody's like, you know what, I'll, I'll struggle on my own. I'll get it back. I'll get it back together. I'll get on my feet because I can't stay in this. Let's get a clarify for the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. Someone rise in being this individual. Okay, I seen the card flip up. Let's put this here so you guys can see I'm not tampering with anything. <laughs> Are you guys looking at that? Look at this. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the devil, Capricorn, but they are bound to each other by a contract. So this contract could literally be a spiritual contract, and you definitely got the energy with this uh, devil there. But more than anything, this contract could be illegally binding. They're bound by chains, and it, like you could have uh, property with this person. Somebody could be a cosigner. You could be a cosigner on someone's car. Just It just looks like somebody is staying in something. They want to be, somebody wants to be single, but they're staying in, or they've been staying in for so long because there's a contract. But guess what? It's going up in flames. That contract is coming to an end. So if you've been wanting to get out of something, honey, you about to get up out of it. You hear me? Okay? Ace of Cups. Some of you all are ready to just be happy. You want your cup to be full. You want to feel fulfilled in life, not just complacent. Let's get a clarify. You want balance, not complacency. Someone's first, middle, last initial could be M, W, T, J, A, P, or S. Somebody A, P, S, definitely. First and last initial, A, no, A, yeah, A, P, S, first and last initial, but I'm definitely getting A, S. It's like someone's first initial is A, last initial of their name is S. Okay, and then landed right here on the nine of pentacles sideways. You guys know I'm going to pick it up as it, it flipped out. Yep, see? Somebody is like just moving along and going along with the situation. Now, the contract also could be your soul ties in because of a child or children. All right, she's unhappy, head down, but she's still going with the flow. It came out sideways, like somebody is like making plans because you can't see what's going on up under this up under this cloak or whatever. Somebody's making plans to get up out of here. They're not, they're just not saying that they're just going with the flow or staying in this situation right now. Again, blindfolded. Somebody wants out. They're not sharing it. Somebody wants out. This could be you because you do have um 
water here in this card. You got swords, but you got water here. So it could be you making plans to get about the situation. But overall, I feel like there's a there's a there's a level of unhappiness, and somebody has plans, mental plans. They're making up, you know, trying to arrange things in their head about how to get out of some type of contract. Somebody wants to break a contract. A soul contract. Somebody's ready to break a soul contract because there's a lack of happiness here in a um in a situation. That's what I'm getting. And you know what's so funny? <laughs> um, when I was a shorty, when they used to talk about females or people that they felt like was bottom of the barrel type of personalities, they would call them roaches or hood rats, right? And the part of the song I keep hearing is tired of roaches and tired of rats. Somebody's possibly tired of always being put in third party situations with roaches or hood rats or something like that. I'm just getting like a lot of different messages. So put it where it applies. And I'm a hand is itching right here. You know, when your hand itches, either you're going to receive money or you're going to have to give out some shell out some money. And it's just, it literally, it's just all in this section right here. And it just happened now. So somebody may even be giving somebody, it doesn't have to be money. Somebody could be giving somebody some type of feedback also. I'm, I'm going to say again, somebody is like, it's cheaper to keep her. I'd rather stay in this contract than have to pay this person out. Because they if I, if I divorce this person, separate from this person, they're going to take all my money with them. You know what I mean? That's what I'm getting. So they would rather you guys stay together and be miserable. Look at that. You can't tell me that this is this doesn't give you misery. You know what I mean? They would rather stay in both parties. They would rather the situation be miserable than for somebody to go off with all their money. I'm getting this a contract of convenience. That's what I'm getting here for sure. And somebody's tired. Somebody's been tired. Over tired is what I'm getting. Okay? So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and the Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.